Hi guys, today's story is called Duck at the Door. It's written by Jackie Urbanovic. Duck at the Door. It was a quiet night until thunk, creak, and knock, knock, knock. Someone is out there. Let's go ask Irene. She always knows what to do. Wonder who Irene is. Irene cried Brody, help! Someone is knocking on our door. Oh, I see Irene is the lady. It's in the middle of the night, said Irene. Who could be knocking at the door? It's a dog. Irene brought the duck inside. My name is Max, he began. I was born in the spring and I loved it. I stayed behind when my flock flew south because I thought I'd love winter too, but it turned out to be cold and very lonely. Winter isn't so bad when you have a warm home, said Irene. At first, Max had a lot to learn. In January, he learned to use the remote control. He enjoyed Wild Kingdom and worldwide wrestling. In February, he discovered he had a flair for cooking. By March, he had made himself right at home. But by April, it was clear that Max had learned too much. There was always another Saturday night, another rerun. Rerun, I got it memorized. Give me, ah. So the animals are getting frustrated with duck. Dakota, Coco, and Jesse Bear got tired of Max's new recipes, and Brady was just tired. Someone had to talk to Max, but who? Just then, Max flew into the room yelling, Listen to the quacking! My flock has returned! I can't wait to see them! Irene, please keep my chef's hat. And Brody, you can have my rubber duckies. I will miss you all so much. After many hugs, Max left. With Max gone, life was ordinary again. You go first. No, you. What else can we do for fun? The cats went back to eating plain cat food. No one played keep away with the remote control and Brody didn't have to share his bed. Life was so quiet that by October, everyone was happy to hear the sound of quacking. When there was a knock at the door, everyone was hoping it was the same thing. They're all yelling, Max, Max, Max. Max, they all shouted with joy. 
Are you staying with us all winter? Yes, said Max. Me and... My flock! Everyone looked at Irene, hoping she would say something. That's a big flock of ducks. But all she could say was, welcome home. I don't know about you, but I think Irene is a little bit crazy. That's a lot of ducks and animals living in our house. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story, Duck at the Door. I'll read you another one tomorrow. Until then, bye guys.